In the wake of WrestleMania 13, as audiences began to gravitate towards Stone Cold Steve Austin, a dark cloud began to form, separating the hitman from fans south of the Canadian border. First of all, I want to apologize. What? To all my great fans in Canada. For what? And to you, my fans right here across the United States of America, I apologize for nothing. You take a gunless creep like Stone Cold Steve Austin and beat him to a bloody pulp, even though you all know that he lost, you cheer him on the way back to the dressing room like he won. You don't respect me. Well, the fact is, the American wrestling fans can kiss my ass. Let me clear the air because I never, ever said I quit. You never got the job done. As Bret Hart's relationship with the American fans continued to crumble. Americans don't give a damn about family. The hitman would turn to his family to forge a new foundation. I'm asking you for your help because I need you. It would take more than numbers to rattle the rattlesnake. I'm finished with you. You'll have to kill me to be finished with me. The only way I'm going to get Stone Cold Steve Austin off my back is to end his career. Like a pack of wolves! One of these days, April 20th at In Your House, I'm going to look down at your grave. Here lies Brett the Hitman Hart. Because Steve Austin whipped his pink and black <laughs> And that's the bottom line. Stone Cold sets up. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Coming down the aisle from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, Brett Hitman Hart. Gorilla Monsoon is making sure that Owen Hart and the Bulldog are not at ringside. And Owen and the Bulldog don't like it one bit. I don't get it. Owen just wants to watch his brother's back. His opponent, from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, I'll tell you what, Austin is the most tenacious SOB in the history of WWE. Yeah, he's here to fight. It's as simple as that. The last few times these men have fought, one or the other was struggling with injuries, be it Stone Cold's knee or the hitman's ribs. Yeah, but not tonight, JR. No excuses here. Just two of the best standing toe to toe. Here we go. Starting quick, as you might suspect it would. It looks like Austin's back in tip-top form after that restroom injury he just suffered. I don't see any ill effects from it. Yeah, Austin could have been wiped out after that one, JR. Oh, come on, King. No toilet humor, please.
Look at Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's feeling it. He knows he's in charge right now. Look out, Bret Hart. Oh, double axe hand on the Hart's head. Austin wants to be Hart like a government mule oh. here with the hitman. He's not going to give up without a fight. And that's why we've had this whole match. Whoa. A fight. This fight is spilled outside the ring, out onto the floor, and it can get dangerous out here. Oh, look out. Austin. Reversal. Oh, Austin reverses. And Bret Hart goes for the ride. My God, there's no surcease. And Hart's got a family, for God's sakes. I don't think Stone Cold Steve Austin cares about Hart's family right now. Watch out. Oh. Hart's head bouncing off the steps. The tide has turned. And now, look at the rattlesnake. He's adding insult to injury, mocking Bret Hart. Here we go, back inside the ring. Hart hits the mat. Striking with the axe handle. Austin and Brett, both former kings of the ring. Brett in 93 and Austin last year in 1996. And everybody knows that there ain't a king in history who's ever willingly given up the crown. Both men are hungry to rule again. Austin's leg. It's that simple. Bret Hart, quite frankly, would like for Stone Cold to not even be in WWE. And I think, oh my, Steve Austin. Here we go with a little taunting. And again, Bret Hart showing the excellence of execution here. And then the reversal from Bret Hart. The hitman's been busted wide open. the way to turn it around. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight.
got him. Hart hits the mat. Easily avoided. He misjudged the range on that one. Hart hits the mat. Hey, he's going for it again. Incredible move by Steve Austin. Seen that one before. And what a match here in Rochester, New York. It is Stone Cold Steve Austin using the strength oh, of Bret Hart. It's essentially three on one against the Rattlesnake. We have some other officials trying to keep the Hart Foundation at bay. Yeah, good luck with that. Stone Cold Steve Austin going back with that sharpshooter again. He's trying to beat Bret Hart with his own home. The Hart family fights like this at Sunday breakfast. <laughs> and Austin trying to win with a sharpshooter. Oh, watch out. Look out. He's got a chair. Oh, my God. Austin hammered right in the spine with that steel chair. The referee calls to the bell. That'll be a disqualification. Bret Hart will lose this match via disqualification. This is not the way Austin wanted to win it, no doubt about that. Well, wait a minute. As a result of a disqualification, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Making the mistake of getting back in the ring, thinking Austin's wounded prey, but Austin's loaded oh, for bear. Oh, man. Austin's loaded for Hitman with a shot you can hear in Calgary. Get out! Oh! Right across the knee with a steel chair. Austin laying it in on the Hitman Bret Hart. And now it looks like the Rattlesnake is determined to break the leg of the Hitman Bret Hart. Ironically, in Hart's own sharpshooter. Man, what about poetic justice here? The referee trying to reason with Austin, who's won the match by disqualification. Here are some other officials. There's no stopping the rattlesnake now. We need a rattlesnake intervention. <laughs> this is not the way Austin wanted to win the match by disqualification. But what a rivalry between Bret Hart, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and the Hart Foundation that is far from over. I guarantee you that. Trying to help a limping Bret Hart back to the dressing room. And the Texas Rattlesnake gets his hand raised. He'll get the winner's share of the purse tonight. And the Hart Foundation forced to regroup.